Hi, this is Ingrid from Spry Whimsy Fiber Arts. I wanted to talk to you today about the brand new auto winder from Spinolution called the Poly Winder. It is available in a 4 ounce, an 8 ounce, and a 16 ounce for any of the Spinolution wheels. Um, <clears throat> what's really interesting about it, if we want to take a look at it here, you can see that Peter has already installed the Poly Winder correctly so that the flat portion are uh, lining up with each other so that you can put the orifice hook on like you normally would. So you install the bobbin like you normally would. And the orifice bar like you normally would. And the, yarn, the leader yarn is going to go underneath the right hand side of the poly winder over top of oh, the okay. Fulcrum pin? Pin. The fulcrum pin. Underneath the front hook and then underneath the orifice. Um, this, by the way, is Essential Fiber um, BFL and it is considered um, or it, the colorway is called Egyptian Artifacts. Um, so you can see, I've, obviously when you're spinning it's much tighter than when you let go of it. It's got a lot of floof to the uh, fiber source because it's very fluffy BFL and so it's going to poof out at, after you've spun it. So what you will need to do with your existing wheel, if you have one, is remove the arms and install these arms. Peter has a separate video on installation to get your orientation correct. Um, there are some guiders here that you pinch and put into place if you actually have an area that doesn't fill up for some reason. Sometimes um, if you're doing a an uneven yarn, um, that's thick and thins and stuff you might want to actually say exactly where it's going to go so the yarn is going to come from underneath the winder on the right hand side up and over the fulcrum that's this part the fulcrum pivot um, and then underneath the hook at the front and then down here and what happens is that it automatically um, senses tension across the bobbin here and will fill up this direction and this direction. Um, it doesn't go back and forth like um, like a worm screw, which uh, some auto winders are based off of a worm screw. This actually does it based on just uh, tension in physics. So you can see right now um, I have the, uh, I've been working on this for about 20 minutes or so in lace weight and it is jumping over a little area here. That's no big deal. It'll fit in. It'll fill in there. This little screw is to modify the fulcrum center point. So if it is filling up a little bit more towards the front or a little bit more towards the back, you can actually move this screw back and forth, um, the fulcrum back and forth in order to fill up the bobbin more to your liking. But it's a pretty cool little device. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the poly winder to ply. You feed it the, the leader thread the exact same way that you did for your singles where we're going over the underneath the, um, the bar over the fulcrum under the first hook and under your orifice hook adding counterclockwise spin It works just the same way.
Okay, so what I did uh, with this skein is I um, I did a traditional two ply from two separate bobbins on a Lazy Kate, and then when I got to the end, I switched over to a chain ply. Um, the take up does need to be stronger for a chain ply um, with the poly winder, but I was able to adjust for it. Um, at the end, you can't just shove the yarn on there because it does hop off the fulcrum. Um, but then I was able to do it and um, got a nice chain ply off of it as well. This is the skein that I made with the polywinder in the video that you just watched. And I really like the polywinder both for the four ounce and the eight ounce. I use it on the eight ounce echo more than I do on the four ounce because it just makes your spinning go smoother. You don't really realize how often you stop to change where the yarn goes on the pegs um, until you don't have to do it anymore. And then you spin and spin and spin and spin and you're like, whoa, that was a little bit of a workout, but I got a lot of yarn spun so it, it does really make the process much more continuous um, so I really enjoy using it and I hope you will too <laughs> 